Okay, so this is Catherine Scherson, uh, born Taylor, and the painting is either dated 1802 or 1803. So this was made in the East Indies, and currently it's in the Victoria and Albert Museum um, in the exhibit with the mini photos. So the artist responsible for the work is George Chinnery, and he was an English painter who spent most of his life in Asia. The medium of the work is watercolor on ivory, and the period of the work is romantic. Uh, the historical relevance of the work is Catherine was the daughter of a captain, John Taylor, and she married Robert Sherson. Uh, like many other people in Catherine's family, her husband worked for the East India Company. Um, it's unknown how long it took to create, and um, some of the defining characteristics of this work is the sky, the color of her dress, her very like dark hair, and um, the hat, and then the trees, or the leaves, sorry. Um, and so I thought this painting was very interesting because it almost looks like she's in the sky, which I thought was really interesting. Also, how pale her skin was, and um, she looks kind of like slouched over and has like a very blank expression on her face. So she almost looks like a little sad to me. Um, so I chose this work because I really liked the mini portrait uh, exhibit. And I liked looking through the magnifying glass and seeing all of the details that was put into these mini portraits. Uh, it's kind of difficult to see here, but with the magnifying glass... It was a little bit easier to understand or see. Um, and it compares with other romantic works of the period because it focused on individualism. And um, of one of the fun facts is by signing the painting with the letter E, I, and C, um, the people that were examining this painting were able to figure out it was made in the East Indies. Thank you.